Okay, so I'm here looking at more small and expensive laptops, especially for schools like I always do, and this particular model is the Acer Aspire V5131. Uh, this model is very similar to the Asus X201e that I reviewed the last time, and then it's the same Celeron processor. We've got an 847 uh, Celeron processor at 1.1 gigahertz. That is that Sandy Bridge architecture we've talked about in the past, which is quite a bit quicker than your typical netbook. Remember, your typical netbook comes with an Atom N2600 processor. This is going to run about twice as fast as that uh, Atom processor. And if you're looking at AMD netbooks for comparison, it's going to run about three times faster than that. It's also got four to eight times faster graphics processing. So a very nice device all the way around. Definitely worthy of your consideration. Now you'll notice on the top of this one it is a glossy cover, which is kind of a bummer. It makes it a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, but it does have a, a glittery tone to it, which is kind of nice. It gives it kind of a premium look. Um, so that uh, perhaps that glossy finish can be a bit forgiven. If we look around the sides of this one, you can see it is a very thin device. Save the battery, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, on the left side, we have an Ethernet port, of course, standard, and a standard VGA port, which is good for hooking up to projectors. We also have HDMI, uh, which is uh, becoming a standard on these devices and is great for hooking up to flat screen TVs. And we have a USB uh, port on the left side. Uh, on the front, we actually have a, a SD card slot right here in the front, which is nice if you're using uh, SD cameras and those sorts of things. Always great to have some place to plug that stuff in without an adapter. And on the right side, I've got my typical microphone headphone joint jack. Not my favorite, but uh, they work fine for headphones and those sorts of things. Got two more USB ports. No, no, no USB 3.0 on this one, um, which I'm not sure if that's such a bad thing. Uh, you know, if I can keep the cost down and not go with USB 3, I'm probably going to be okay. Um, I've also got a power port here and, of course, a Kensington key lock. Let's have a look on the inside. Uh, one of the uh, nice things about this uh, notebook uh, that I've noticed is that it uh, seems like Acer's been listening to us folks in education when we complain about those glossy screens because it does have a matte screen, so I'm not getting anywhere near the reflections. You probably can't even see my face in this one like you could in the uh, X201e review. And that's a huge plus, especially when you have a lot of fluorescent lighting in the classroom like we tend to have in the education industry. I've got uh, trademark uh, Asus, or Acer, uh, I should say, sorry, uh, flip of the tongue, an Acer... Uh, uh, chiclet keyboard. It is a very nice keyboard. Kind of an improvement over some of the stuff they put on their netbooks where the keys were practically touching. This one feels great. Uh, the keys are full size and naturally spaced, which is good. I've also got a touchpad on this device. It's a bit smaller than that on the X201e, but overall works very, very well. Haven't really had any trouble with it as far as compatibility goes, and it works pretty well for a touchpad. Now, again, touchpads aren't my favorite. I'd rather have buttons, but it does work reasonably well. I've got a standard keyboard layout, the control keys in the right place, which is great. I've got my arrow keys over here. Here, uh, in a standard upside down T configuration, which is really nice. Unfortunately, I've got a little bit of a gloss around the uh, display, so you're still going to pick up fingerprints there, but that display is not going to reflect too badly on it on you. Um, now, uh, as I mentioned, the battery on this one is one of the things that makes it a, uh, an excellent choice for education. The battery in this one is a six cell. It's probably one of the only ones that I've seen actually in 11.6 with a six cell battery anymore. And that six cell battery will run you about nine to 11 hours or so, which is, which is pretty fantastic for a school. So you're not gonna have to worry about plugging it in at all during the school day. At $330, this makes an excellent choice for a uh, school deployment. Uh, it works perfectly with Ubermix out of the box. No uh, customizations are required. Um, so, uh, you know, all in all, I think this may well be the best all around uh, small and expensive laptop uh, for deployment in schools. Definitely worthy of your consideration. Uh, if you buy them in quantity, I'm willing to bet you can even get that price even lower on that, maybe sub $300. So take a look at the Acer Aspire V5 uh, 131 when you get a chance. Consider it for your next deployment. I think you'll really, really like it.